Here are today's top crime stories trending on LawCrime.com and across the country. Former NFL cornerback Brandon Browner was arrested in Los Angeles for reportedly breaking into his ex-girlfriend's house, holding her captive and threatening to kill her. The 33-year-old former New England Patriots player is charged with kidnapping, burglary, false imprisonment, and violation of a protective order. Browner allegedly broke into his former girlfriend's home and battered her before he made off with a Rolex watch worth $22,000. Browner was previously arrested for domestic violence against the same woman who had a restraining order against him. He's currently being held on $10 million bail. A death row inmate in Georgia scheduled to be executed today for the 1990 murder of his sister-in-law made an epic last meal request. 59-year-old Keith Leroy Tharpe had his execution temporarily stayed in 2017 after the Supreme Court ordered the 11th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals to take another look at the case on the basis of an alleged racial bias of one of the jurors during his original trial. The appeals court eventually rejected his appeal and his execution by lethal injection was rescheduled. Authorities report Tharpe requested a last meal consisting of three spicy chicken breasts, roast beef sandwich with sauce, fish sandwich, tater logs, onion rings, apple pie, and a vanilla milkshake. Three employees of an assisted living facility accused of allegedly filming and posting a video to Snapchat of a woman in their care as she suffered a stroke and died will now face criminal charges in Georgia. The employees, 21-year-old Jordan Lana Bruce, 21-year-old Maya Janai Moss, and 19-year-old Lizette Jocelyn Cervantes Ramirez, all worked at the Bentley Senior Living Facility in Jefferson and were charged with exploiting an elderly and disabled person. The three women were reported to authorities by a fellow co-worker who saw the video. The employees made the video in the 76-year-old woman's room and allegedly ignored the dying woman as they used obscenities and made obscene gestures on camera. Those were today's top crime stories. I'm Anthony Velez for Law & Crime.